raised the question uh, in the COVID committee, and uh, the Pfizer representative uh, yeah, answered in quite a clear way. So we all know now um, that people have been lied to. Uh, it was a gigantic lie, and uh, on this lie, everything that governments, especially in the Western democracies, did uh, to infringe on, on uh, people's <clears throat> rights, to take away their freedom, to uh, lock them uh, in their homes, uh, imposing curfews. All of this was based on that gigantic lie. And, um, yeah, I and can only thank my colleagues. Um, we are doing an incredible job in this COVID committee, and uh, we will get to the bottom uh, of things, and we will get the answers that the people that you deserve. We will work on that, and we will continue to work on that. But, and that is the other message, none of that would have been possible to do if we did not have the massive, enormous support of you, the people. Because you took to the street, you showed your governments that you will not put up with this and you will not stand for this. And for that, I really thank you and I applaud you and I will do so right now. was for you, the people, because we can only do so much if we do not have the support of you, the people. And as you may have heard, Ursula von der Leyen, uh, EU Commission President, is now under a lot of pressure, and rightly so. The people have a right to know what went on in these contracts with her exchange of SMS with C. Pfizer uh, Burla. The people need to know who they can hold responsible and accountable for whatever may have gone on behind the scenes. So, um, yes, thank you again. It was your support that kept us going and it made all of this possible. And things are changing now. Their house of cards is tumbling down and it is doing so rightfully. And you know what? One more thing, though. Um, I am sick and tired of being called a COVID idiot. And I much rather be a COVID idiot than being a guff idiot. Because that's what all these people blindly trust. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what all these people that blindly trusted their governments turned out to be. And I will say it again, it was never, never ever about public health. It was never about breaking any waves. It was always about breaking people. But, and that's the good news, they failed. It didn't work. And that I am very proud of, and I'm proud of the people that I am so honored to be allowed to represent. And I will continue to do just that. Thank you very much.